Yeah. All right, everybody. It's now time for the presentations for ME495. I know you've all been working really hard on these projects, and so I'm excited to see how they turned out. So this, this is, is the final work. project for our introductory robotics class. I don't think we've ever done the same project twice. Our project was to be able to make a robot balance a ball on this whiteboard here. A big component of the class was learning a software called the Robot Operating System, also called ROS, and it's incredibly important in the robotics industry. So ready in three, two, one, go. The goal is to give kind of a crash course of various aspects of robotics, computer vision, robotic design, kinematics, how to get the robot to move, see, interact with the world. All of that is compact in this class. <laughs> what we have here today is Sir Mix-a-Lot. His job is to take ingredients from the storeroom and place them into this flight or customer cups to appease their drinking delights. Our first week in the hackathon, we were doing Python projects that led up to us programming a robot using computer vision to pick up a pen. So I did that in my first week, and then here I am 10 weeks later programming an even bigger robotic arm with seven degrees of freedom to flip pancakes. Oh, yeah. That's a chocolate chip pancake. Even if every component works as it's supposed to, when you put them all together, nothing works as it's supposed to. And that type of experience is something that can't be simulated in a classroom. It's something that has to be experienced with a real system that fails and fails and fails until it works. We say you have to be a full stack engineer to be a roboticist. You need both the software and the mechanical and the electrical all have to come together. And you get a little bit of everything in this program, which is really exciting. It does take a lot of your time, but one of the beautiful things about this is, since it's a cohort system, it really establishes a very strong sort of support system around you. It's really a great collaborative environment. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, wow. Yay. Oh. Cheers. So far, it's been an amazing experience. Like, if I could go back in time and tell my undergraduate self, totally come to this program, I, I would do so sooner.